there was. I couldn't. I promoted somebody else to the host. All right, hey, we're going to get cooking momentarily. Welcome, everybody. Let me get to my, uh, something to the government. Here we go. This is the last one for 2022, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we got 33 people so far. I know there's going to be more than that. We had, I think we had 200 that signed up between yesterday and today. That is some crazy wow. stuff. So, how you doing, Mr. Clock? I got no complaints. Hey, we're we're going to start up two new. Here. We're going to start up two new contracts. All is well. Whoop whoop! That's great news. All right, fantastic. Welcome everybody. We got fifty six so far. We have Aaron and Fred and Jay and Yorg and Quentin. Cool name. How cool is the name that starts with a Q? Just saying. That's good. That's that's a winner, right? <laughs> Quentin McClung. So uh, he's uh, just a little bit of uh, just a little bit of Irish, probably. I think. All right, all right. Video, please, from Rafa. What is going on with you? Don't know, man. Now, now it's letting me. There you go. Now it's letting you. Ed. There you go. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Ah. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Greg. And the two days. How are you? <laughs> the two days. Who's Fantastic. Day? David. And oh, that's right. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. His evil twin with the beard. Yeah, exactly. That, oh, there it is. Everybody's knocking on my beardless wonderness. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Well, fantastic, everybody. Welcome. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I know we have a bunch of folks that are that are coming in today. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and share this out. Make sure this actually works. Sharing the screen. We got a bunch of stuff to do. Um, and we might have some other people that wind up sharing out in just a minute. Well, welcome to the selling to the government the last two weeks and the next 54. Why are we talking about 54 weeks now, doctor? Well, <laughs> because uh, the next fiscal year is upon us. That's right, baby. We are right. First off, we want to just, uh, we, didn't, we didn't get to do this la last month. It was so long ago, but we want to thank all the first responders and everybody that was running into those buildings. Um, it's a special day for us and our family when we remember this. Um, and I just want to say thank you to all that are first responders that are involved in, in that and uh, putting their lives on the line. Everybody agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. Love it, Amen. love it, love it. Well, we do want you to participate, believe it or not. We do. It's easy. <laughs> you can put stuff in the chat. And we want to have, since we're probably going to have over 100 folks, I, I can't imagine we're not going to have over 100 folks. Um, you can raise your hand. You can put stuff in the Q&A. If you've never been to a Zoom meeting, I can't imagine that's the case in the past two years, but it's possible you can go up there and click side by Ellie. side and make us bigger or smaller. Real quick disclaimer, this, is, this event this is for industry. is not affiliated or endorsed by the government, and participation doesn't guarantee an award. Do you believe that, Greg Clark? That participation does not guarantee an award. <laughs> Is there anything that guarantees an award? <laughs> That's a great question. Why don't we ask that question if there's anybody that has a guarantee? And for the govies, if you come in and for the government, let us know, please, um, because we want you to be able to participate as well. So GSA gives us this to, so that you can participate because it's not an endorsement or commitment to purchase from any vendor. In this, we will connect you with experts. There's a few here, here that are on right now, and there's probably more that are coming. We'll be discussing what works and we'll be highlighting sponsors and partners. And if you don't like it, remember how much you pay. Just saying. There you have it. Uh, we will be putting the, the links for, for in the handouts. We got the handout <laughs> going to the chat. Zachary? All right, we're working on it. It's coming. All right. In the meanwhile, this will be the best briefing ever. Sherry says, I secure a major contract from this webinar. Probably not happening, Sherry, but what can we say uh, about people that do this, Greg? That actually well, I mean, you, you could indirectly secure a major contract. You could probably do that. Based upon based upon being here, you may make some connections, and next thing you know, we're winning contracts. There you go. And Richard says, I learned something I did not know before the seminar. What you did not know before the seminar is I wrote a song in 1992 called Ball Moron. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Edward, but you didn't know that. Uh, so Edward says, uh, 
bid, uh, there's bidding information useful to small business. Absolutely, Edward. We got somebody here called <laughs> Rob Lundholm who's going to be talking about that. As a matter of fact, Fiona says, I learned something new or try a tactic share that results in a win for fiscal year 2022. Maybe we can help you with that as well. Linda, um, how to identify specific opportunities? Yes, we'll talk about that. Roger, there's an actionable plan. Love that word, actionable. You like that word, Peter Timbis? Absolutely. We love actionable, don't we? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, and Robin says I could learn how to become a vendor. Well, that's great. But we can certainly help with that. That's the doc, the good doctor of looking good. <laughs> it's what I do. Uh, he's the doctor of looking good. Uh, Virginia, go uh, from Golden State Courier. I get that million dollar door prize. Well, for crying out loud, Virginia, you just missed it. We just gave that away. Elton, uh, a sound marketing strategy is identified. Boy, I like that. Sound, sound marketing strategy. Love it. We'll talk about that. Frank. I learned how to successfully send an RFP from Greg. Look at that, Greg. Frank says, hey, I want to learn how to do that from Greg. I get, I'm not going to sure if we're going to solve that whole problem today, but at least you know Greg can help. Uh, Steve from WebOmates. What a cool name. We're introduced <laughs> to buyers, question mark. Great question. All right. Love that. Rob, you going to help us with that? Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Steven from Greenhouse. That's Steve Pimpo. That's Pimpo that. right there. That's Pimpo. That's definitely Pimpo. Pimpo, you here? Let raise your hand. And I'll make sure I can identify you. Breaking balls right out of the. Uh, out oh of the my gates. gosh, he's such a piece of work. Where are, where are you at? There he is. Where are you at, Steve Pimpo? He's in the he's in the Q and A right now. Also, I'm here. here. Yeah, there he is. How you doing? I'm battling, battling a cold, brother. Always nice to see your smiling face and hang out with all your uh, well-intentioned, intelligent government experts. So thanks for letting me be a part of the action today. All right, man. Well, welcome aboard, man. We'll make sure we keep you in the loop. Hope you feel better there, brother, man. Thank you. Thank all you. Right. All right. Appreciate that. Steve Pimpo back in the house. Love it. Uh, and Aftab uh, it says, I get the right direction and guidance to win government contracts. Uh, Paul says, it stayed on the subject. All right. <laughs> love it. Uh, Roberta, uh, I'm able to get a contract. Uh, Besma, I land a contract. Uh, Jay, it gets more business. Imagine that. San Sandy says, it's more actionable. Love getting actionable two times here. Love it. Diana, if I learn why I don't win opportunities, just as important. Right, Diana? Right, Greg? <laughs> Got to yep. know why you're not winning. Yep. And Got here we go. Your briefings. We're doing this a little different today. What's your one word <coughs> describes the federal government? Put it in the chat. I got a bunch of them here that came in. I, I mean, we had like 150 people that signed up in the last two days. So therefore- hey, can, can you let Sally in? Uh, no way. Not letting Sally in. <laughs> Hold on a second. Sally White. Oh, here we go. Make her the co make a co-host. There you go. Sally White's in the house. That's coming up. One word, put it in the chat. Let's hear it. You know how to, oh, wait, wait a minute. I got to open it for everybody, don't I? Hold on. Sorry, guys. Sometimes Zoom actually not locks it. Try it now. Put it in there. All right, one word. We here. What I did is I looked at the one, the green ones are the ones that are in a positive aspect. And then the red ones are the ones that are, are in a, uh, a negative aspect. So we have awesome, then we have challenging, chaos, disarray, right? A lot of that. Unknown bureaucratic, right? Dif big potential, difficult to find the right people. So that's both sides, right? So you have big potential. So uh, disjointed and complex, love all those, slow, right? Massive opportunity, massive, obviously, again, huge opportunities, layers, obtuse. Woo, that's, that's one of those words we have to look up, I think. Um, open market, opportunity, difficult, scattered, so a lot of folks have the same thing. Let's take a look in the chat and see. Huge. It's huge. <laughs> uh, difficult. No words. <laughs> Humongous from Amy. Spending. Love that one. Right, Fred? Spectacular. Man, Sherry, you're just full of good stuff. The lotto. <laughs> Edward, I'm not sure you're in the right place. Actually, I know you're in the right place because, all right, huge. Convoluted, overwhelmed, dedication. Love it. All right, if you have any more that you want to pop in there, fan doggone tastic. We'll make sure we do that because guess what? That's why we're here because it is great 
It's huge. There's a lot of opportunity. And it's also very difficult. And guess what? Not everybody can win if you don't have the right mindset. In fact, you won't win if you don't have the right mindset. Am I right, Greg Clark? Correct. 100%. You, you, you have to know. You have to have a, a plan from the get-go. That's right. Uh, real long, quick, before, long before the RFP comes out. Long before the RFP comes out, which means more than two weeks, which is what we have left. <laughs> real quick, I'm Dave Blow. Uh, I started ISI Federal back in 2009, and since then we've booked over a half a million, half a billion, half a billion dollars in direct and indirect. And I'm only saying mine first because Greg is going to steal the thunder on how many billions there is that has been booked by the experts here. Uh, on the right hand side, you will see ways that we help people get smart. You also probably know a little bit about GovBrief and how we help reach stakeholders with interagency briefings, which includes. Uh, reaching program managers, I'm telling you, it's the only way that we found that actually draws the program managers in. And you can't do it until 1026, and there's limited space. If you want to, you can visit govbrief.us uh, or continue to come around here, and we'll remind you about it. Uh, upcoming this week, we have Trisha Callahan. We also have Greg Clark that's going to be talking about this last minute series RFPs, winning RFPs, as well as today is uh, P-Cards winning P-Cards. So you can check that out on GovBrief as well. Uh, this is what we're going to talk about a little bit today because guess what? Sam Radar is the new sponsor here. And they are a game. It is a game changer. And I'll introduce you to Rob Lundholm. Hey, Rob, how you doing, man? Good, good. <clears throat> Glad to where be here. You, you're based uh, out of where? You're based out of Cape May? Cape May. Love it. About 10 blocks from the beach. Ah, man, that totally sucks, doesn't it? Everybody yeah, wants. It's to... awful. It's terrible. Yeah, it's a terrible life to live. Horrible. Sunset terrible and life sunrise on the beach. Sunset and sunrise on the beach just just a curse. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There you, you gotta love it. All totally. right. Well, you're gonna be talking about Sam Radar and how it helps you get to the 98 percent of opportunities that don't hit Sam.gov. Right. That is correct. We'll talk a little bit about that. Also, uh, you can see Sam.bid and uh, Quick Fuse monitoring. GSA, uh, GSA eBuy and uh, SAM.gov. And part of SAM Radar is actually SAM.bid. And um, GSA marketing direct to key decision makers using your advantage. We also have the doctor, the doctor of looking good. I, I coined that phrase this week, Rafa. Where's your glasses, Dave? Everybody, I'm blue a, glasses? I don't have my blue glasses. Wait, he has his, his live doctor. I, I, I wore my. Uh... My other ones today. <laughs> no, you got me all messed but up. But if you give me a there. second, I'll pull an Elton John on you. <laughs> nah, there you go. You could do that. So, uh, so, so, Rafa, we're going to be talking to you a little bit about uh, getting prepared, making yep. sure that your capability statement is tight, because that's what you do every day, right? Absolutely. It's all about procurement and contract readiness, right? Yep. And those essential elements of marketing must be, you know, tight. And up to par, you can't have substandard materials when communicating with the world's largest customer. You simply cannot. You cannot, because they'll tell that they'll be able to tell that you don't belong, right? That's the whole idea. Making sure yeah. you look like you belong. You are a risk to them. That's you right. are risk. Whoa, that's a big. That's a big thing. The fact that you're risk because you're new. Uh, we also have Greg Clark, who talks. Who will be talking about responding to those proposals because guess what those proposals are getting turned around and what's the turnaround time look like right now mr clark uh you're mutified <laughs> mutified <laughs> last year we had one that was in september it was issued saturday night and it was due monday morning and and that's not rare and we won that contract because not many other people what? know about that <laughs> yes that's writing awesome. proposals on a sunday Writing proposal on Sunday. Oh, and nobody else was. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Writing proposal on the Sunday because they knew about it, and the other folks said, "I don't want to do it on a Sunday." And if you're not willing to work on a Saturday and Sunday, uh, well, you can always do things next year. <laughs> <laughs> right. So there you go. We also have the master networker. The, of Echo Wolf Solutions, we have Sally White. How you doing, Sally? 
I'm doing great. Hi, everyone. Just got back from Navy Gold Coast, got back from uh, Nagas, which is National Guard. Saw lots of my friends that I met through ISI at these conferences live. It was so cool to elbow bump, fist bump, hug, whatever they're comfortable doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, happy to be here. Excited. Thank you. Love it. Love it. Love it. And we will reach out to you about networking in a few minutes. And Peter Timbis is the master of being able to fund contracts. And because he understands federal government and your bank don't, that's why you're here, right, Peter? Absolutely. Good morning, everybody. Well, hey. once you follow through with using Dr. Raphael's secret sauce and getting <laughs> ready for the government, Greg Clark and getting on the GSA schedule, Sally White helping you connect in digital marketing, and then using SAM.radar mm -hmm. to identify opportunities, we step in and help you with support letters if you're bidding on contracts. And then once you win contracts, we'll be there to fund them, whether you're a brand new company or an existing company, because we are going to lend to your opportunity. I love it, love it, love it. And you guys, Sally, you and Peter are going to be talking a little bit next month about, about some of the things, especially since there are going to be people that win opportunities that need to fund those. So make sure you guys are here next week or next month, I should say. Uh, next month, uh, Brian Hebel. Uh, I do a lot of work with Brian on, on GovBrief. He's not going to be with us today because he decided that he was going to do his own uh, webinar today. So he's a loser, but that's okay. We don't... <laughs> We don't, we don't judge. So, uh, so the question is why in the world did you guys get here today? Are you new to federal contract? You have federal contracting, federal contract as a sub and you want to be a prime? You have federal prime contracts and want to grow or some nuts sent me an email and we know that there's going to be Weisenheimers. You can choose as many as you want with that. And while you're answering that question about this session, it's about success in the federal government. It's always free. We have over 3,750 registered. I think 200, actually that's, that's low because over 200 came in the past two days. Every second Tuesday uh, at a, every, uh, every, of, uh, the month at 11 a.m. And guess what? We get real about things. We don't have any silver bullets. I do, I will say that we have the closest thing that we've, that we've been able to develop is SAM Radar and see that in action. So we might, uh, hey, hey, uh, Rob, are you are you cool with staying around a little bit after to uh, to to give a little bit more of details of Sam Radar? Is that I'm you okay here, with that? I'm here all day. All right, fantastic. Well, there you go. Uh, so we'll show off Fireside Federal and friends. If you're new to the market, the fact of the matter is this game is different, and that means you can't play this game the same way that you play commercial. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Is anybody going to tell me that I'm wrong? I tell you what. Well, that was a whole lot of silence that I heard. Uh, so anyway, so if you want to play the game, the game is played not the way you want to. It's played the way they want. And and you got to hit them the way they want to be hit. Right, Dr. Rafael Marrero? Yes, sir. All right. All right. We have today we're doing it a little bit different. We're going to be talking about I pulled this out of my my uh, I used to have a company called Uncommon Results. We did business consulting before I started ISI Federal. And I actually had clients that made me do the federal stuff. And now it's like the Hotel California. I can't get out of this place. But this, this popped up uh, several times in the past week, talking about inhibitors, resistors, enablers, and force multipliers. And we're going to be asking the panelists on the hot seat about each one of these things, because everyone has a little bit different perspective about what inhibits things in the market. And we'll ask you as well. So the first thing I'm going to say is what inhibits you? And let me make sure I got this. What inhibits you? Put it in the chat. What inhibits you from winning federal contracts? And I'm going to end this poll. Let's, let's do this poll real quick. Oh, look at this. 47% are new. 15% uh, have federal uh, are subs and they, and they want to be primes. And then 34% um, are primes and they want to win more. I love this. This is great. And I got 13 people calling us wing nuts, or at least one of us wing nuts. And we'll say who's sending out the emails. All right. So while you're filling that out, um, inhibitors, by the way, are things that absolutely, if it's like a brick wall, you cannot get through. So the ones that I, I flagged here for conversation at the very <clears> least, <throat> at least to start the conversation is not understanding the market. If you don't understand the market, 
it's really an inhibitor because you don't know what you don't know. And that gives you the wrong expectations that maybe you can close stuff faster than you can. Or if you're, if you're doing nothing at all and sitting on the sidelines, you're never going to win. Am I right, Greg Clark? Correct. And, and, and if you're, or if you're counting on the government to do anything <laughs> now, this, this, am I right, Rafa? Uh, yeah. Other than spending money. Uh, correct. <laughs> well, that's true. The yeah. government will do that. I, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. The government is going to do something. They're going to spend money. All right. So they're not going to do your job, which is the essence of what we're trying to say, right? They have, you have to do your job. Um, so uh, let me ask you, so, so a question, does the government already have a vendor selected when the government posts requirements with a short turnaround on the seven days or less in e-buy? Potentially, yes. That's that's a good indicator, right? Uh, inconsistency is one of the words. I, I lose projects to get awarded to large business with better pricing to their volume of sales. That's, that's true, uh, uh, Tricia. Bonding requirements, very important, right, Rafa? Absolutely. You're in construction, you know bonding, you know do the work, right? Absolutely. It's a um, limiting factor. I don't know where to start with. It's a new world to live in. Absolutely. Love that. Okay. Ah, there we go. Uh, should we respond on those opportunities then? Great question, uh, Doc. Doc, my, uh, Yes, you should. I still would because maybe they're sitting on the fence. Other people are sitting on the fence, right, Greg Clark? 100%. Yeah. <clears throat> something like that. Something. Fun. Yeah. Something like, like, uh, like a short turnaround is going to organically uh, reduce your competition. So yeah. if it's, if it's, if it's challenging, then that's an opportunity. Love it. All right. So real quick, I'm for the folks that are new, I'm going to put a real, real high level overview here. So if you look at, at, at what happens in the decision tree in the government, you have the political appointees, and the senior executives. Senior executives are SESs, right? Senior executive service. They're the ones that are responsible for running all the real programs. Politicals come in and they go out with administration, right? So as a result of that, you need to get in touch with the uh, underneath of these SESs, you have program and you have procurement. And there's there are two different sides. And real quick, the one side care about getting the job done, and the other, the other side get, cares about getting the contract done. Now you might think that's the same thing, Dave. No, it's not. It's not the same thing. And it operates differently than if somebody comes to you and says, hey, Dave, I love what you do. Can we do business with you? And I say, yes, because I want to close business just like you do, but you can't do that in the government's place because the program says I have a need and then they have to throw it over the fence to procurement, right, Rafa? Absolutely. And then Rafa, the job is, their job is to, award that contract. They have the ability to bind the government with the warrant capability or even micro purchases with P cards, right? They have the ability to do that. It's a contract mm -hmm. that can bind the government and that becomes the contract. It could be a one-off contract or it could be multiple years, right? Right, Greg Clark? Yeah. Yep. So in, in, you'll, you'll look in the session handouts. Zachary, did, give it, did we get those? <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Can you pop on? That's fine. Can you hop on and put them in? All right. Thank you. Uh, they'll be coming shortly, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So the session handouts will be, you're going to see this. It's a winnable opportunity matrix. And, and Greg was talking about all the way on the left-hand side, you'll see no days before it happens, 60 plus. For this fiscal year, can't do that, can we, Greg? Nope. Nope. Why? Because if you look at the top of this presentation, it says we're down to the last 17 days. <laughs> so you don't have that kind of time. However, you'll know that what happens is that the program side, that's the PM, right? You see, you got the PM there. And then you also have the contracting officer. They throw, they throw it over the fence at the contracting officer. And that creates an opportunity, right? And, and, and one of the things we're highlighting today, because Rob Lundholm is the director of Unfair Advantage, uh, real quick, Rob, let's tell your story while we're here. Uh, so you you are up in Cape May and you're sitting with the programmer most of the time of samradar.com, right? I am. He's 20 feet away. He's 20 He's feet away. Blessing and, and a curse. 
That's, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I get to learn everything there is to know about the SAM radar database. Trust me. That's right. And a lot of things you don't want to know. <laughs> exactly. The vocabulary is anyway. <laughs> yeah. So you, you're not native to the, to the government space, right? I'm not. What, what were you doing before? I was actually selling LED lighting. And I, Chris is a good friend of mine. And he introduced me to, it was Sam.bit at the time, which is the, like the grandchild of what Sam Radar has become. And, uh, you know, he told me about the opportunities. And then I was like, I'm chasing my tail with these, these, you know, like we can't supply this, can't supply that. So he's like, no, dumb, dumb. Don't worry about the opportunities. Go to the buyers. And then that opened up a whole new world. It was like the sun came up for the first time ever. It's crazy. <laughs> because so, you all of a sudden started seeing things that you didn't know or that you didn't even know right you were chasing things around because the government told you how to, that that's how it worked but then when you saw what really happened what, what what got on your mind i realized that i had been wasting a lot of time i mean the 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 blessing of sam radar is we pinpoint exactly who's buying in each market and by pinpoint i mean a contract was awarded yesterday you're notified who it was awarded to? How much? How much it was awarded to? The specifics. It's 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 an amazing system. It, it really really is. So you're working in LEDs. You see the system working. You had a problem with the company that you were working with because they just couldn't deliver, right? It was a, it was a great company, but they just the the supply chain after COVID was just a disaster. You, you can't you can't sell somebody lights and say, yeah, we'll have them for you in sixteen months. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a tomorrow world. So. That led me to Dave Lowe and ISI Federal, and, and here I am. So you were using this, and that's what happened. He wound up coming on board uh, with Sam Radar because, and he's the one that came up with the unfair advantage. What was your first thought when you saw it, the, the, your first report, the first email that came out? What was the first thing you thought? <laughs> Is it legal for me to have this information in my hands? Am I going to go to jail for knowing who, what buyer bought what product from what vendor? <laughs> and uh, obviously it's 100 legal and it happens all day every day that's right it happens all day every day and the government gives us the information we just what this system does is it makes you it helps to get you smarter and we'll talk a little bit about more about that and you and and that's why we're featuring what you're doing because right now it's really really important to be paying attention to all the aspects of the, the government why is that important rafael marrero <laughs> because right now it's year end, you know, yeah. it's year end. They, they're going to do away with the budget. You know, you've got to, you've got to lose it or, or use it or lose it right now. That's right. And, and if you don't, if you don't spend it this year, you lose it for this year and next year. That's right. You're say, well, you didn't use it last year. So and look at it. the dollars, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, that's in billions, billions. Right. All right, so let's get, now we talked about, we talked about some of the things we're talking about this, and I want to ask the question before we get started, um, how long do you think it should take to win your first federal contract? This is direct federal contract with the Gubbies. Here we go. This is going to be good. This is so going to be good. You, the question is, when you start bidding, how long before you... How long do you have to keep losing before you win? Is that what you're asking? No, I'm saying, when do you think you should win? How long did it do you think it should take? And this is, this is really important because what we're about to do is we're, I'm, let me, let's finish this just real quick. We have 84, come on folks, bump that up. And uh, while you're talking about this, actually, no, I'm going to wait because this is really important for everybody here. Because I'm gonna tell you in just a second, exactly what you what is, is gonna transpire after this. I'm about, well, let me go to the chat and see if anybody's got anything in the chat so I'm not wasting time. All right, five months, okay, 12 months, Adam says. Um, Doc Mai has to sign off, sorry for that. 90 days and six months has been true for our four PMs. Wow. All right. What do you, Mike, tell me what you do, Mike. Uh, that was it, that was in there, that's in there. Project managers, what do, what do you guys do project manager wise? Automotive uh, parts, something about Automo that. Automotive parts, all right. <coughs> Very good. We all right, so another five. Supply ve vehicular and aircraft components. I got you. Another five, four, Three, two, one, and boom. 
And this is profound for multiple reasons. I'm going to tell you that on average, how long does it usually take, Dr. Raphael? At the very minimum, you're looking at 24 months. I mean, that's that's the reality. That's the reality. Uh, you know, and, and, and again, it depends on how well prepared you are and the competitive advantages that you have when facing your new client, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it depends on your maturity model, right? That's, that's how true. sophisticated is your organization? Do you have a good, competent back office team? Do you have people doing BD, dedicated people doing BD? Are they good at proposal writing? You know, all of these different things that we offer here, people in this room, do you have the financial wherewithal to, uh, to be able to support buying those products and waiting for the government to pay in some cases, right? So these are all the different factors <clears throat> that we as a team collectively bring to the table, right? So it's contingent upon your, pot, your readiness posture, right? And how well you are positioned with respect to this challenge yep. that your success ratio will, will truly be determined. So, But even when you're all ready to go it and everything's you, working. It takes you, let's say that you're squared away your ducks are in a row. You've got your CAPE statements, CAPE's briefings. Your website looks good. You've got the right type of business cards. You've got your market intelligence and you're ready to knock on doors. You're looking at 18 to 24 months. 18 to 24 months. I agree. That's right. And when we did this study earlier, 11 companies we did, it was between two to three years. Mm -hmm. And therein lies the problem. Everybody look at this. And I, I don't, I don't, want to offend the people, I want to tell you that if you don't adjust your, your expectations, now sometimes you can get there a little bit faster and you can, might even get lucky, right, Greg? Absolutely. We'll take luck all day long. But remember, if you, if you win something in the first 18 months, consider that luck, ride the luck wave, take it. Somebody said lotto earlier, right? This ain't Vegas. If you want to double your money, in the first year, you would do much better to go to Vegas and put put it on red and let it ride. But once you do get that contract, and that, then that's a relationship. Oh, there you go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So, again, this is great because I want to help the folks here. And if you look at it, does the 80-20 rule, look at this these numbers, 80-20. The 80-20 rule, two to three years, right? And over... And, and at one to, over one year, almost two. So 18 to 24 months, a lot of people want to do it. It's not when you want to do it. It's not when you want to do it. The government doesn't operate that you want. However, within the next two years, we or next one year, we have two Septembers, this September and next September. Almost done this September. So if you haven't started yet, manage your expectations. That's the biggest thing. If, if you walk away from anything, manage your expectations. And here's a couple of things that I want to Matt, I, I want to talk about. And I love PTACs, I like Ozdaboos and SBA liaisons. They can help you get to where you want to go. However, the methodology they use is what the government says you want to follow. And they're not decision makers. They don't have budget and they can't say yes. Anybody in sales here? Anybody in sales? Everyone's hand should be up. Everybody, everybody's hand should be up. What's the problem, Sally White, if these people are not decision makers? The problem is you can waste a lot of time, number one. Number two, they don't want to talk to you. And number three, your competitors know who the decision makers are, influencers are. That's exactly right. And oh, everyone, all the participants, the 135, 165 participants, all of your hands need to be at virtually. Yeah, don't raise your hands. <laughs> no, don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. But the point is, then, I, then I'll then I'll be unmutifying. The point is, is, we're all either selling, connecting, doing something to promote what we're trying to be in service in. Exactly. All right. So let's talk about mm. the inhibitors. If you have any questions, you can pop them in the Q and A or raise your hand. Inhibitors, not understanding the market, wrong expectations, doing nothing, or counting on the government to do something other than spend the money, right? Right, Rafa? Absolutely. So, so on the hot seat today, and we'll get to, to monitoring in a minute and, and the impact of this, because that's going to come a little bit later. Let's talk about what you can do right now to, to get rid of some of those inhibitors. Greg, you want to take a, a, a shot at what things that are absolutely keeping people from, from being able to bid? being able to bid mm -hmm. or being able to win or being able to win either one um maybe you're pursuing the wrong 
project because you don't meet the minimum mandatory criteria. Okay, Me meeting so, mandatory. So yeah, yeah. So I guess that, that means your bid no bid process needs to be improved. So so uh, have, not having a good no bid. So what you're saying is getting to know fast, right? So that you're only working on the ones that you can possibly win, right? Getting to know fast means if you're not going to win this contract, find out as quickly as you can by reviewing the, the solicitation and eliminate it and move on to the next one. All right. How about you, Dr. Looking Good? I would say that the number one thing you could do right now to positively impact the outcome right now is you need to spit shine your capability statement and look at your SAM and DSBS profile. You can definitely do that today, right? And then in, in the coming days and have a good positive image when they at least give you that first sniff test, right? That's the first place they're gonna look. Your SAM profile, DSBS profile, CAPE statement. If you don't have those three components lined up, you are behind the ball. And by the way, even when submitting bids, you should always have a copy of your CAPE statement to go along with that, okay? Yep, I agree with that too. And, and the, they can always not read that. Don't put it in, you don't have to put it in the presentation, but you can put it as an adder, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. All right, Rob, um, let's talk about a couple of things here of, of the, the wrong expectations and, and helping to do something. I know we're gonna talk more about SAM radar, but if you're thinking about from the standpoint of monitoring, right now monitoring is pretty important, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So so that's one of the things I think that would that's beneficial for everybody is to be monitoring uh, SAM.gov is where where some of those things do. And then um, and then what else we got? Hey, guys, we're um, Mike says, uh, thought we had reached out for SAM profile capability statement. Who of you is able to help with that? Who's who's able to help with the capability statement? That would be the guy with the cool looking glasses and the three. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I have to make an annotation right here for everybody to see. That'd be the doctor of looking good. <laughs> we have business cards getting ready for that. Right. Oh, all right. So um, let me so interrupt, yeah, Dave. So I, I sent, a, I sent uh, one of my clients to Raphael to get on uh, to get AD certified. And he came back as it was a great experience to get AD certified. And I said, cool, send me your capability statement. And it looked terrible. So I sent him back to Raphael. And <laughs> it was uh, the, the, the capability statement that his team produced yeah. is so sharp and makes him look very, very uh, awardable. How about yep. that for a new word? Actionable like and awardable. That's awardable. Right. His kung fu is strong now. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So the one thing that I would say for where we are right now is, is that, and I, I, I got a quote from Winston Churchill, perfection is the enemy of progress. Use what you got. You might not be able to get, you might not be able to finish everything because you're, if you're relying on Sam to get it right, Sam.gov to get it right between now and the end of the year, you might be in trouble. Don't worry. Go after those people. Make, we, ha we have solutions to help, especially especially with our clients to help um, with the SAM, to help SAM.gov, all right? So, so with that, just getting moving is always, you know, my, my whole thing is action. We had that, most people, actionable, actionable, actionable. How can we act? All right, so let's get to resistors. Here's what I had for, for we just talked about it. Poor capability statements. Great, what a great setup. You didn't even know this was coming. Poor capability statements, no past performance. If you don't have the past performance, that's a big problem, right, Greg? It's a huge problem. It's like being 16 years old and trying to get a job. Yeah, it's exactly right. And mm -hmm. then, um, and then lack of contacts, right? So these are the three areas. So what are what are some of the resistors? Put put those in there. What are that's not necessarily inhibiting you, but like slowing you down. What are the types of things that are slowing you down uh, uh, in in this in this process? And then we'll talk about some of those. You pop those into the chat. And then, uh, and then we'll talk about. It. So, for, so from from the team, um, we're, we're going to talk. The flip side of of resistors is enablers, and we'll talk about that in a minute. What are some of the things you're seeing, um, uh, Rafa, that 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 really slows things down? 
Ah, well, there's internal and then there's external resistors, right? Mm -hmm. There's environmental. I mean, I, I, that's part of what I call a pest analysis, right? So you've got political, environmental, you've got social and technological barriers, right? Different from SWOT analysis. It's another way of looking at it. I would say internally, uh, systems are a, big are a big challenge, right? Um, so communications platforms, uh, accounting systems for direct and indirect costing for jobs, uh, whether or not you have a consistent methodology on the delivery of products and services. So how mature is your program management office, right? Do you have PMP certified personnel? Do they speak the same language? Mm. You know, do they have best practices in place? These are very important things, right? So internally, your capacity is very important, right? So how, how able are you to move on? to deliver on time within budget and a scope compliant product. That's very important. Mm -hmm. Also, do you understand the deliverables that you are chartered with, right? Have you conducted a good shred of the, and a compliance matrix for the deliverables for the program? Have you done your risk analysis? All of that, right? Mm -hmm. So internal factors are very, very important and may in fact uh, preclude you from being successful unless you adapt and overcome, unless you put together a good mitigation plan, a good risk management program, what are your corrective actions and preventative actions going to be? That is the secret sauce right there. You need to get in there and figure out how you're going to get from point A to point B. That's our mm -hmm. biggest challenge right there. Aside from that, not under, you know external factors like not understanding the terminology, right? You mm -hmm. don't understand the lexicon. You don't understand the federal acquisition regulations. You don't understand the way business is conducted at the federal level. It's a whole new culture, right? It's different from the com from the commercial sector. And, and do, so, for me, I, I I agree with you entirely. And I, over the course of time, learned a lot over the past fifteen years, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I've always loved to rely on folks that have already been there that can help mm -hmm. with that process. And there's folks that will help you uh, that become teaming partners. We're going to talk about that in just a minute mm -hmm. um, and networking. Uh, so I appreciate that very much. So I love the, the fact that you broke out the internal versus the external, right? Uh, because internally, that's where you're finding most of your resistors is your ability. Where, where are your stress points? Where's your ability to be able to fix that? And that sounds like somebody that might have a doctor from, from uh, Stanford or something, some kind of Stanford business or something. That we can definitely you. help them. We can definitely help them yep. put together a good, <clears throat> we've been commended time and again for the uh, SGA business, uh, the strategic growth assessments and SWOT analysis that we've put together for our clients mm. to submit to the SBA, the uh, 1010C business plans for 8A clients. The business plans we put together are bar none the best. We've been told this by SES level executives at the government mm -hmm. and as, you know SBA administrators We've been commended for that. So we, we put together a pretty good, a pretty decent business plan and yeah. corrective actions and preventative action. And that's that you just hit something because nobody expects perfection ever. They do want you to perform. But when how much more important is it to fix a problem? If, if you have a problem, being able to prove that you can fix that problem is really much better than a program that just went without a hitch, because I find that to be the case is that. Anyway, and I don't we don't we can't dive too much into this uh, anymore because we do have a question from Heather. How do you get past performance when you can't get the first job for crying out loud, Greg? I have two thoughts on that. And I was just going to bring up that question if you didn't see it. So when people come to me and ask me that, I said, you know, see if you can find a bigger company that is looking to um, uh, fill out their subcontracting plan. Work as a sub, preferably where you're interacting with the customer because there's that relationship that you're establishing. Yeah. Um, or work with somebody who can, like you, who or, you know, just go directly to um, the, the program people and talk to them about solutions you see to problems they may or may not have identified. Talk mm -hmm. to them directly and see if you can get some small work out but of them. Great, but great, I really, 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 really want this. And I have, I really want it, but they make this past performance. I still want to bid. First of all, I, that 
make it clear that you're not uh, imitating Heather Mater there. And if you think that's what she sounds like. That's Heather. She's yeah, not saying that. I don't know how like, you no. sound. If you no. sound like that, I'm sorry. No. That, you're right. That's good. Thank you very much. I, that, thank you for the disclaimer of all disclaimers. For, get, for get, having... get in as a subcontractor to a larger company and, and determine what you have a value that uh, that you can bring to them. Maybe you're better known. Maybe you're a minority owned. Maybe you have some kind of, of, of uh, ownership uh, certification that is going to be valuable to uh, to a prime contractor. Maybe you're working on a large scale contract and you have a little niche part that, that fits and also identify who your potential customers can be and try to get in and talking with them. And I, I could not, I could not agree more with that because, so it goes to your professional network, right? Cause that's mm -hmm. part of your, your teaming, yeah. your partners, the people that give you the, your bench depth, your, your primes and your said, but I love what you said about making sure that you're, you're, you are interacting with the customer and protect yourself. The best way to protect yourself is get yourself introduced to the customer before you, you have that prime and, and work with the prime. That's the best way because all of a sudden the prime wants to control that relationship and may make you sign something that says you're not allowed to talk to the customer, right, Greg? Yep. So, so Dave, I want to I want to add to something. That I, I, I got you. Wait a minute. Hold it. I got you Sorry. coming. Sorry. Real quick. Um, what is enabling your federal attraction? We'll, we'll talk about that. And Sally, I had you teed up for the professional network because that's what you do. So go ahead, Thank Sally. You. Thank you. Thank you, Boom. thank you. I appreciate that. But I wanted to add, add to that thread that we were pulling about past performance. I heard something very important last week at Navy Gold Coast and Raphael, Dr. Moraro uh, emphasized what it was yesterday on a mutual customer account. So Jimmy Smith, he's the head of director of office small business programs. He explained that the Navy, DOD and other small business programs the government specifically given their mandate to provide more contracts to um, different individuals, people of color, women, minorities, veterans. They're allowing past performance to be validated and vetted and vouched for by SBA. And Rafi, uh, Dr. Morero had more specifics than I did, but it was very important, I think, to this discussion, more important than all the things I can do for you. So Dr. Morero, if you want to pull the thread on that, I think it's a really important. Well, oh, yeah, I mean, the, the, there's new rules on, <clears throat> and I'm going to be writing a blog post on that, Dave, and I'll share it with your, with your, with the team. So I don't want to yeah. steal the, your time from this presentation, but there's new rules that have been rolled out as far as past performance and how you can leverage past performance when you're doing a strategic alliance, such as a teaming agreement or joint venture mentor protege yep. program. And I'll have more on that later on. I'm going to, write a, a formal blog post on that and and uh, we'll share it with your audience. How's that? That's a, that's perfect. Love that. And, yeah. I, and I'll throw in on that too, that you just mentioned the, the joint ventures and mentor protege, that's kind of the, the same kind of bucket, right? And that yep. gives you the ability, it gives the ability for the large to be service disabled or 8A, one of the mm -hmm. socioeconomic categories. And it gives you the bench depth of a massive corporation. That's and that's right. one of the things I think is really, uh, that's something we got to do. We got to do a briefing on that at some point. Well, if, if I just can, if I can just give you a one liner, right. And then we can move on on this, Dave. Mm -hmm. Basically the, the rules went into effect August 22nd. Okay. And then uh, it's the, the SBA's final rule. That's creating. this August 22nd? Yeah. 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 Oh, man. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's a new thing. That's why we were talking about it yesterday. Sally and I were talking about it uh, with a client uh, on a call that we were, where we were discussing the, how to leverage past performance, right? Mm -hmm. And then it allows uh, certain small businesses, uh, offers, right? To uh, rely on past performance of the joint ventures. Right. So it's like the joint venture will help shore up. Um, it, so if you were a member of a joint venture in which you were a, uh, and you perform a portion of the work, you can actually rely on the past performance of that joint venture. So that's, that's a correct. it's a big it's a big thing. That's a big deal. Uh, and it, it establishes a process, right, for certain small businesses to obtain past performance uh, credit when performing as a first tier subcontractor, mm -hmm. but only under a prime contract with the only under a prime contractor with a subcontractor plan. Okay, that's very important. And we write those, by the way. We write those subcontracting plans to help you get positioned uh, to win more business. So that's one of the things that we do, right? Yep. 
Okay. Uh, I, I'm going to answer this question. Do feds consider city or state government contractors experience potentially, and they even commercial, but yes. when they think about, when you think about the, what they think is most important, it's federal experience in that agency at that location. That's number one. Number two is within that sub agency. Number three, the major agency above that, like DHS over TSA. Then you get into state and, and local. So you can see in the food chain what they're thinking. I know it does, might not say it, but that's what they're thinking. And then finally, commercial. So state, so government is just above state and local. Cool. So thanks, um, I didn't want to take a soft track, but I appreciate you queuing me up. But I thought that was an important thing since many absolutely. people Absolutely. Good. So and networking, networking is critically important. And I know you're, you're, here you're we go. So I'm, I'm sort of the uh, doing business with the government, doing commercial business, getting profitable revenue whisperer. In other words, what I do really is get a sense of your business strategy. What are you trying to do? You're trying to sell your business. You're trying to pivot. You're trying to launch new products. And then I connect you to the right capabilities. Those people here who have special superpowers who can support you. The second thing I do is really help align your digital performance, your branding with your solutions. And again, I connect with people who do that. Dr. Marrero is one of them. Um, I also help you in financial support letters. And I connect you to, to Peter Timbus because I was at an army conference and this gentleman said, I got a $5 million opportunity and they wouldn't allow me in because I couldn't be vetted. And Peter's company, TFN, can allow them to do that. Um, and then finally, I connect you with executives, influencers through LinkedIn, through my own connections. And I'll, I'll share it with you. It's not like you have to pay me you know, a big monthly fee to tell you. I'll tell you how I do it. And I tell people you can do it yourself. You can have your brother-in-law do it. You can have one of us do it. Um, but the important thing is to do it because there's a whole ecosystem, right? Ecosystem of things that create a government contract to do. And I and all my esteemed colleagues can support you in that. That's right. Fantastic. So that's the networking pitch. So we're going to do the final one is force multipliers. And, and you talked about this a little bit, Rafa. Part of this has to do, to me, force multipliers are always how do you use the energy or the, the research engine? Your part, your teaming partners um, are force multipliers, should be force multipliers. You should be right, you should be a force multiplier for them, and they should be a force multiplier for you. And then your marketing efforts, being able to get evangelize what you're doing out there. So those are the ones that I had, and I want to talk about. We'll, we'll talk about Sam Radar in just a minute, uh, Rob, uh, about that as a force multiplier. Anybody want to throw in before we jump into the the? Because I think right now the one of the most important thing is monitoring, and like you said, Greg, getting to know quick to figure out, go through it, and say yes, no, right? It, oh yeah, yeah. Your bid, no bid decisions. Yeah, pivotal and vital to your. Uh, your outlook for, your, for for government contract, and and we were talking a little bit earlier about you know if you want to go into the government contracting, how uh, you know how long is going to take for you to get your first win and, and all that. For a lot of companies um, that may not be, I would say for just about every company, if you're not willing to make a hundred percent commitment into winning government work, every dollar you spend toward the federal government will be wasted. That's a fact. I uh, would say that again. If you're not 100% committed into winning government work and understanding what it means to be 100% committed to it, every dollar you spend will be wasted. In other words, don't go half step. And because if you, you go halfway, you gotta, you're going to lose it all. If I you go agree. halfway, yeah. Does everybody agree with that? What do you think of that, Rafa? You know, I have to agree with Greg. I have to. Yeah. I know that's hard. For He's contractually adding, obligated. You know, adding, Dave, <laughs> adding Dave to your question, I also learned again from uh, Dr. Marrero that he has, and forgive me, Raphael, if I say it wrong, a list of 25 things or 30 things. Yep. sort of like, here's the things you need to do mm -hmm. based on best practice, proven practice in order to get a government contract. Yeah. And he will actually consult on those things. And they're very inclusive, very important. It's a, sort of a shopping list or get ready, right? Yep. Yep. We like to do a deep dive with the client uh, beforehand and uh, sort of like do a readiness assessment, right? And we come up with a mitigation plan and we identify areas that need where you need shoring up. Uh, and based on what we have internally in our panel here of, of distinguished teammates, then we, we then supplement that with, with their services. All right. So whether it's proposal writing, whether it's market intelligence, whether it's uh, presenting your 
your products and services to the government or whether or not you need a, whether, well, and you're going to need finance, right? And mm -hmm. a letter of support. So it's all here, right? Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, student, I um, really encourage everybody, feel free to reach out to any of us. I mean, I was talking with Peter yesterday and there's a gentleman, he was invited to Texas. Hey, so let's let, let's put, push, push that to next month because we're running out of time. And I got to get Rob in on this because of the monitoring side. So of if course. we focus here on the monitoring piece, I'm going to show, we're going to show a couple of things here, Rob. This, this is actually what's hit Sam, Sam.gov, right? Where if we're, if there's two different sizes, there's opportunities, and then there's awards. And we'll talk about awards in just a minute. Um, but here we have for, these are for janitorial services, right? And they're looking for sources sought. Greg, why would this be due at 920 or 929 at 2 p.m.? Because they need to get it awarded by, uh, by the next day at midnight Hawaii time. That's, that's right. So they're looking for sources right now. The offers are due by 2 p.m. What are the chances they're going to turn that around in a 24-hour turnaround? Folks, this 100%. just landed. This literally just landed today. It just landed a few minutes ago. While we were here, this landed. And now we know about this. So if we're doing janitorial services, we can see it. How important is it to know this time of year immediately so oh. that you can act? You have to be Johnny on the spot. You have to be Johnny on the spot. And this this is one of the parts that that Rob was looking at originally with LEDs, right? So now you're talking about here's they're looking for sources sought for housekeeping. And where is it? It and if you want to, it, it's at NW NSWC IHD. Does anybody know it? I don't even know what that is. I've been doing this for a while. So where is that? That's for the military, Indian Head, Maryland. That's where it is. So if you do facility support services. Guess what? You probably don't even know this because you've been talking, listening to us talk to you for the past. But now you know that something hit. And the answer is this, this shows up because the system is watching for you. And it can do it by keywords, not just by NAICS codes or PSCs. That's the first thing. If you want to stick around for a little bit, Rob's going to show you some more. The other part that we want to talk about monitoring is, is what, what are we going to talk about in monitoring? Um, for the awards. Why is it so important for awards? Because we're, we're saying they're a loser. Right, Ron? <laughs> exactly. Well, it's, this is, this is, this, these are facts. This is a contract that was actually awarded and everything you see here is, are the key players involved. Not only do you have the buyer, which is, you know, the long game opportunity wise, but the prime contractor is just as important, if not more important, especially the people to starting out. Now, what do you say? Wait a second. I want everybody to see this. $106,000 and change, one offer received. How does that happen? How does one offer receive happen? Mackenzie's Cleaning Inc. has a very good relationship with Shalonda Mix. That's right? exactly. probably wrote the RFP. <laughs> probably knew about it before it came out and probably was the only one that got solicited. That's How right. can that possibly be? That's not fair, Greg. That's not fair. Oh, what about this one? 618,000, one offer received so for supply chain management. Any, anybody else do supply chain management, Rafa? Uh, yeah, every day when I look in the mirror. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Yeah. And so, so, then, so then you have $2.6 million. What is this? A logical follow-on bridge. That means nobody else knew about this except Booz Allen Hamilton, $2.6 million. And guess what they have to do? They have to have what kind of program? Small business what? Subcontracting program. That's right, baby. So maybe you should be reaching out to Booz Allen Hamilton. Oh, what about this one? $1.6 million, one offer received. South Goodwill Florida. Industries is South Florida. How does a, you know what Goodwill Industries is? Other than small business, they're a nonprofit. And as a result, they, they're doing work for the public building service in South Florida for what? We we're just talking about this. This is, we're, this is for- Courthouses. Mm -hmm. Courthouses, custodial and related services for multiple courthouses and federal buildings in South Florida. Anybody else want that contract? Guess what? You can't have it because Goodwill knew about it before you did. Sorry about your luck. This is where it becomes a game changer, right, Rob? That's it. And, and this is, need. again- and the best part about this, Dave, is everything you need is right on this very screen. You can look at this, determine right away whether it's relevant or not to your business, 
and act on it or delete it and wait for the next. And so how do you act on it? You, you hit you, this button and you want to talk to Victoria about the, the award to Brevard Achievement Center. And, and this point is very, very, it's, it's important to keep this message short and sweet. Victoria is not reading past the third line. She will watch a two minute video, but she will not read past the third line. The third line. If you get her attention, make sure you know what you're going to say, because if you get her on the phone, you have her for roughly two minutes. So yep. you can't be giving dissertations. Quick That's to the right. point and follow up is very important. Nobody's reading a novel. So, all right, with that, I'm going to get everybody going because I know we're going to run a little bit over and then we'll talk. If it's okay with you, Rob, if anybody wants to stick around, they can stick around and take a look at this. Here's Don't, don't Miss Tactics for the last two weeks. And if you miss this, we'll make sure you get copies of it. So, so first things first, get ready. Organize your team because guess what? They're going to they're going to send you orders. If they're going to send you orders, you won't want to miss them. And make sure you establish a response system so that people know what to do when they see it come in. If you only have 24 hours, right, Greg, or 48 hours, you better be able to turn it around, right? Mm -hmm. So forward your GSA contract number. If you have a GSA contract, when they call, and they may call because they may want to create something right there on the spot, nobody answers, it goes to the next person. They're not calling you twice. They're not leaving messages. So make sure that you have the ability to forward your landline to your cell phones and make sure you answer your cell phones, even if you don't recognize that number. Although we all get way too many of those stupid robo dials. I got it, but now just bypass that. Last minute deals, you wanna be paying attention. Monitor, 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 monitor. This is, the, this is what Sam Radar does. If you don't have a monitoring tool, you need a monitoring tool. Um, and, and you will also find that those will be minimalized. They're, they're going to go to three small businesses, contract holders, select contract holders. They're going to be executing on BPAs and IDIQs. If you don't know what those are, indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity. We'll get to those later. Check your junk mail several times a day. How often do we have things? Oh my gosh, I missed it. Make sure you're checking your junk mail. Tip five, sam.gov. Monitor it hourly. And do yourself a favor. Stop dumpster diving. Yeah. <laughs> Let Sam Radar do the work for you on that. And that is the reason we're featuring that is because they are sponsored. That's funny. All right. So my, monitoring eBuy. So Sam Radar does it for you on Sam.gov. Quick fuse. If you have a GSA contract, sign up, sign up, sign up. You will, it'll pay for itself in the first year. I'm telling you or you get all your money back. It'll pay five times what you do it. Now you have to come to the Monday round tables because you got to be able to do it. But other than that, it's just a couple of Monday round tables too. Tip six, believe it or not, facts is still happening. You believe that, Rafa? <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah. So make sure they're getting, get electronic, make it, make it and send it to everybody, right? Do That's your right. weekend watch. Make sure you're paying attention. And because there's short quick turnarounds are going to happen. Establish redundancy. What do I mean? If you don't have enough people paying attention to your monitoring and your phone chain, make sure you add somebody else. Everybody in the company should be paying attention, right? All right. For, so here we go. Double check your responses. Why is it important to double check your responses and make sure everything is signed? Greg Clark. Because um, missing something silly is the easiest way to be eliminated from competition not acknowledging an amendment, not signing a form. You got it right. And double yeah. just double check that you checked all the check boxes, for God's sake, because they're asking for them. Make sure they're all checked for, to meet the FAR requirements. Finally, tip 10, 930 night watch. You mentioned it. 1129 p.m. Hawaiian time is 559 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That means that orders may come in that late. Not usually, but we have seen it, haven't we not, Greg? Sure. Yeah. Keep your eye on the email. Keep your phone on. Make sure you do it. All right. So if you need anything, this is the last question I'm going to ask you, and then we'll we'll get you guys out of here. And I know we were we ran around a little bit. Hold on a second. I promise I'll find it. Um, I need help. Here we go. All right. So you need last minute help, or you need fiscal year 2023 help. You can pick as much as you want. So guess what? The reason why we're asking this question is the next. 54 weeks actually start now. 
The chances of you winning something and just getting into this, great. Take it. It's luck. We'll take it, right, Craig? Absolutely. We always take the luck. But most of the time, you're looking at sales that are happening in the red hot times. And guess what? You're doing your business development from October all the way through the rest of the year. But you're going to see these hot times pop up. And it looks like this. Marketing, getting your introductions, doing your follow-up, working those referrals, and continuing to follow up all the way through so they remember who you are. Because, and, and I talked about this the other day, I've had three contracting officers that their number, their only reason that they talked to me was because I was after them for six months before, and they said it. They said, you have been reaching out to me for six months, so I'm going to give you a shot. That was their only criteria, that they're just not going to try to be here for the, you know, what's in it for me today? No. This is a marathon, folks. If there's anything that you need to remember, it's a marathon. And your reality check is you have got to be out in front of these folks. Here's what success looks like all the way through. This is one of the most successful uh, um, MCOR. It's one of the most successful facilities management companies. You can see what happened over the course of time. Boom, they broke out. This is what I used to use years ago. So look at this. No BD, no sales. This is my shock fate. Yeah, that's right. That looks so like the, you did. I know, I'm telling you. I was, I was, so you know, I wasn't the TD Ameritrade baby or whatever that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to be talking about disrupting the pattern, the disrupting the status. Starting next month, we'll be saying Happy New Year. We want to make sure you get your strategy straight. And, uh, and I know that uh, Sally White, and, and um, Peter Timmons are going to be in the hot seat. And the, the real question is why they should let you in and making sure that you are doing that. And Rob is going to be doing this. He's going to be hosting the session for the first time, Rob. Yes, we are throwing Dave out of the office for two weeks and uh, should be fun. That's right. So, so uh, I'm going to end this poll right here. We got a bunch of folks. I think there's 25 people that answered. I'll share the results with everybody. We have bonding opportunities, so you'll get calls from us uh, as well as the people here and share and your strategy. Got it. Fantastic. Well, we definitely want to help you out with that. Um, those of you who want to stick around, I'll be here. Rob, you want to hang out for a little bit and explain a couple of things for Sam Radar since you, you are, you're the master of this, the, the director of Unfair Advantage. So any other last minute questions? Um, Oh, David, I appreciate you put your contact information again. All right. So if anybody wants to save the chat, let me just jump in here. Some really yeah, rich information. So if you want to save the chat, at the very <laughs> bottom in the chat screen, you see a smiley face. To the smiley face, you see three dots. Click on the three dots. Click on save chat. Click on show and folder. And you'll have the entire chat. And it's really great to connect with one another because with 100 65 people 200 people at the max we still have 107 um, you can't say connect, you can't save the chat oh. you can't save it they won't let them save it but i yeah. saved it and we'll get it to everybody how okay, about that that's it. thanks there hey what go. are we doing thursday what are we doing thursday i don't know we're what doing, are we doing we're, thursday, we're doing Greg we're Clark? doing we're, we're talking about writing proposals last minute rfps or something like that Ooh, important there you go if you want to you want to learn about that go to govbrief.us right great that's where. That's where you go. I'm telling you, it's going to work. All right. So uh, presentation link. Uh, Zachary, can you pop that back in there? Oh, we don't have the presentation link. It'll come later. You get it in a recap. Do, you, do I have the presentation link? Do you want me to send it? Or do you, you don't have, have the right one. No way you have it. Got it. You don't have it. You think you do, but you don't. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Correct. We appreciate Just you being here. We're going to jump into back, back over into... Um, into Sam Radar land, because we're gonna talk about some very, very specific things that only Sam Radar will enable you to do. Right, 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 uh, right Rob? You got it. All right, so, so real quick, when, when you were dealing, let me, did I, is that closed out? All right, I'm gonna close that out. Just wanna make sure that that poll was closed. All right, so when you started with Sam Radar, you needed to find folks that were doing contracts for LEDs. Now, sometimes those LEDs were coming direct, right? And other times they were hidden someplace else. What are some of the areas you had to look for when you were monitoring? 
I was monitoring keywords, I was monitoring NAICS codes, and I eventually found the PSC code. And because the PSC code was so dialed in, as well as the keywords, that delivered the best results versus the broad uh, NAICS code. But it's with SAM radar, it's a process of elimination. Once you right. get your search dialed in perfectly, it's uh, it, it's you don't have to touch it. You don't have to touch it. And it takes a little bit to get it dialed in. It takes usually it takes a couple of months. By the time you kind of look at what happens to, to what's happening, right? So to, to figure out what's really important, right? And another thing about that is we're we're a phone call away, we're a Zoom meeting away. We screen share, we get into your account, we check on things every single day, look for uh anything that might be a little bit out of place. And uh we're we're right there with you. We we want you to win. Yep. And and so a couple we kind of breezed over this, but you have the ability to dive into what we call the award details. So if you want to see all the details associated with this, right? You can dive into the award details, but you mentioned something I think was really important and reaching out and contacting that buyer, right? So when you reach out to that buyer, you had some really good advice. And that is number one, you said what? Keep it what? Keep it, keep it short and sweet. Keep it short and sweet. So very and, simple, and just to reiterate that simple rule, they are not reading a paragraph, not even one paragraph, not even one half of one paragraph. But if you have a short descriptive fact-filled video that's two minutes long they'll watch it all day long okay i can't explain so, that but that's just the that's just the uh the help help people especially when it's cold and they have no idea who you are and we know somebody that creates videos right rafa uh you're you're mutified we do video capability statements and they rock yeah so that's another place but right yeah. what i love about this when i've used this the, so so you, when you're looking at this this is actionable things when people ask this, said this before what is actionable today and what i love about this is is the intelligence that creates this is saying hey i want to reach out to solunda mix and i want to talk to you about mckenzie's cleaning corporate the, the, the award now you might not be trying to unscrew that say look all you want to do is say hey can when you get a second can we chat about this because you're probably not going to unscrew this award, just so you know, unless there's some kind of real reason why you want to protest it or something. The chances are this award is going to be done. But we also know that this happens every year as a result. So you want to be considered for the next one. So remember, we're playing the long game. I love what you said that about that as well, Rob. We're playing the long game. And since Shalunda has no idea that you exist, she has no idea what your capabilities are. The main thing that you want to do is be on her radar. She's on your radar right now. She's on your radar and she becomes somebody that you want to build a relationship so that next year you're being considered. Or what about the other buildings that she might have? And Shalunda doesn't just manage that one area. She's buying over. So you, so you know, every one of these buyers is worth $5.8 million on average, on average. That's how much they spend every year. Some of them spend hundreds of millions. Some spend a couple million, right? But here we have this $5.8 million. And this one's only for how much? 106. So there's a lot more headroom with this buyer. So we're going to talk to Shalunda and say, hey, Shalunda, I want to bend your ear on this. Um, is Tuesday or Thursday better for you? And just leave it at that. That's what I would do. And then hit her again. And Greg, you had a great suggestion. Every time you're doing follow-ups, don't just send one email, right? Correct. Correct. So this person is swimming in your pool. You want to get to them. And that's one way. All right, fantastic. So what's the other side of this equation, Rob? It's the, again, it's the buyer and, and the vendor. You know, and once, the vendor. So this is important. If if Mackenzie's cleaning has been cleaning your clock, no, I just made. Pardon the pun, <laughs> because they do janitorial, right? So if you you can track this prime in the system, and every time they get an award, you know about it. Dave, can we visit the dashboard at some point so we can just show them how how this how this how simple it is to set up your search criteria? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's do that. Showing right? them the output, but let's just it's just how easy it is to get it set up and get started. The first thing I want to do is log in and make sure I'm logging in the right place. Five, five, five. Five one five six one. Hold on a second. Two seven two 
561720. Hang on, guys. I'll, I promise you. 561720. And I'm not a robot. All right. So we're logging in. All right. Let me get rid of that. Give me that. Fine. All right. So you wanted to get in. This is the dashboard. Um, this happened to take me where, where I am, but we're, if we're talking about your account, setting up your searches, is that what you're talking about? <clears throat> exactly. So here's just a, a generic NAICS search, but you can create a new search with NAICS codes, PSCs, keywords, and wherever it's being done. Does that make, is that what you wanted to see? Yes. And, and you, it, searches NAICS code or PSC or keyword, it does not have to match on all three. That's right. So this is an or type of thing. And you can set up multiple searches so that you can you can delineate those and have other people monitor those, right? This is just monitoring the overall NAICS. And as we looked at before, we have this is this is the um the the vendor. Let's go to a different one. Let's see this one. Why is that not coming up right? The vendor history is not. But what we can look at, we can also see McKenzie's cleaning history, right? How much, this is the one we just looked at, 106,000. But look at, look at how much, they've got 46 contracts in the last 12 months. I think these people know a little bit about federal government contracting, don't you? Don't you, Greg? Definitely. Yeah. So this is the most, this is, and you'll find that these are not, high dollars, all these fall under simplified acquisition, which means they don't have to, not this one, but I'll bet you by golly. If you look at this and we see the number of offers received and look at this, we also have three different buyers with the Army Corps of Engineers that were involved with contracts from McKenzie's Cleaning. And so you sure can follow rabbit trails, but I'm telling you guys, don't follow the rabbit trails. Let the system do the work. Right, right, Rob? You got it. And if you if you can scroll back down, Dave, just show how, how the contact information for the buyer is right there, along with the with a click to their 12-month and five-year history. That's right. So not only so all this tells you if you want to reach out to Martha or Gerald or James, you can do this. Um, most of the time you have phone numbers. If we don't have it, you don't get it. But you also can take a look. These are all the contracts with Martha, right? She's relatively new, actually. Martha's new. How important is it to find new buyers? Oh my gosh, I love Martha. I love it. So Where did I see West Palm Beach on this page? What's that? Where did I see West Palm Beach on this page? Where would you see West Palm Beach? I saw it you were, when you were scrolling through. I, I, I didn't catch it quick enough to see what you were, what it oh, contained. There you go. That's For place of performance. Okay. Okay. Right. So there's there you go. There's a place to perform. This is the details on the contract. Right. Number of offers received, not reported. I wonder why that would be. They don't want you to know. So it they didn't put this out to everybody. It's a new delivery order. So that this this company has some kind of contract vehicle, right, Greg? If there's a delivery order. Yeah. Yep. So all of this is great information that you can reach out to. What else you want to show here? You have the ability to track this prime, right? You can track the prime. Let's go back here. We can track this McKenzie's cleaning. We can track this, this prime. Oh, I'm at the current, I'm currently not monitoring the max numbers. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, I know what it is. I have to turn that on for this one. Anyway, you can track the prime. I promise when you sign up, you can track, right? Right. Dave, right. Uh, Bart Carlson says, uh, are you still freezing the monthly fee if we sign up for that service by the end of September? Yes. If you sign up, we're going to free. So what it, what it, what he's talking about is, is if you sign up at 249, you're going to stay 249 for as long as you stay. And that's going to be for the first 250 users, right, Rob? Yes, it is. And after that, the price is not going to be two forty nine, right, Rob? It's going to be so. A it's lot. not. It's not everybody that signs up this month. It's the first two hundred and fifty. That's right. We're, well, not we're going to be. We're, we're going to be at two fifty within the next 
month. So if okay. you want two fifty, if you want two forty nine, sign up. And part of that two forty nine is why we're giving you a discount is we're going to value the information that you give us as much as we you value the information that we give you. Like we're looking for feedback, ways to make the system better, any way that that we can improve it so that so that everybody wins. And we already have new things that are coming that are coming on board. And most of those are going to be included. There's one spot that's not going to be, but you're if you I'm telling you the loyalty that we have for anybody that signs up in the first 250 is going to be huge. Just stay signed. You stay if you keep it, great. If you're doing it for the 7-day trial, do it for 7-day trial, that's okay. But we're not in this for the trial, the trial is so that you can actually see the system and actually see it start to work, especially now. We have a couple of people that are going to do that, right, Rob? They're going to come and they're, they're just doing, trying to do things for free, right? And, and even those people, all the information that they gathered in that seven days, it's theirs. Like all It's, those that, contacts, it's, it's theirs. definitely theirs. So, yes. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, everybody, with the exception of those folks that sign up for something that did do it for free, nobody's leaving nobody's leaving. We launched this six weeks ago and we're, we'll be at 70 by the end of the day. And I know that sounds a big deal, 70, big deal. That's a big deal. And yep. we're going to be at a hundred by the end of this month. And we're going to be 250 by the end of next month. And this is six weeks old. You know, this we is six weeks old. One, one to two a week. And then I went to four to a week. And now it's like 10, 12 this week, we're aiming for 20. So it's, Get on board. It's 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 happening fast. It's happening fast. And uh and and the uh, included in this is Monday roundtables. How cool are Monday roundtables, Rob? It, it doesn't get any better, and we it, never know who's going to show up. You never know who's going to show up. Some crazy people show up there, <laughs> and and had some awesome things, right, Greg? Yeah, it's it's all you never know what the what conversation is going to come up. Because and, and Greg's there a lot. We have Sally there. We have Rafa there. I mean, we pop in when we can. I'm usually there. Somebody from our team. All of this again, folks. Super, super duper important to be to to let the system do its job. Go. And you're going to get opportunities out the wazoo. Most important thing again for for the opportunities is getting to know fast, right, Greg? Yeah. Yep. And, you, and you can cruise through it and say, don't care, don't care. Oh, wait a minute. That's a, wait a, minute. That's a small business set aside. Um, offers due, right? They originally do the 15th. Now they do the 19th. If you need additional information, watch this action. Boop. Takes you right to sam.gov. Don't have to log in. That alone is, <laughs> oh my gosh. If you don't have to log in to be able to go grab all the things that you need to figure out to get to know. And oh, by the way, here's your contact information. But I, I'm telling you guys, if, if you're not seeing the importance of this, especially this time of year, I got I don't understand. I just don't understand why you're why you why it wouldn't it doesn't make sense because you gotta see these things as they're coming out. Again, we know about this stuff as soon as it hits. Offers due 927 at 1 p.m. Wonder why they do that. Um, offer due 920. Offers due 914. Dave, hey, I got to jump. This came out when? Craig, thank you. All, All right, right take care, guys. See you. All right, guys. Anybody else? What kind of questions do you have? Otherwise, put your put your information in, Rob. You can take this on uh, off offline if you want to. What kind of anybody any questions about what you'd like to see while I'm here? Dave, there's a, a question in the chat about does this tool have all the RFPs that are on other vehicles such as GSA, MAS, NASA Soup, T4NG, Alliant, et cetera? So the answer to that, Adam, is no. It doesn't have the it does not have the RFPs that are there. There's the only people that have those, um, the ones that are GSA MAS, you can get from Quick Fuse. If you have access or you have a teaming partner that has access. We can get you access to, to GSA MAS. There are no, there's no place for, for being able to see soup or T or any of the other IDIQs unless you're on those IDIQs. However, what you can see is you can see the award again, and, and you're you might be saying, 
Dave, you just call me a loser because now I can't act. Yes, you can. Rob, how do you act? You sign up for samradar.com. And, and you see the buyer's information so that you can get to the buyer for the next one. With one That's the only the play that you have, Adam. One click it's, of a button gets you right to the buyer. And that's, that's the play that you have. And if you also know who the awardee is, that's your other play. You have two to, you, you can go to the, to the awardee and you can go for that. And we see people doing this all the time. The folks that are saying that they're, they're getting to the, the folks that they could not get to because they're using the system. They didn't, first of all, they didn't know they existed. Second of all, they didn't have an action item and this gives you the action item. And, and come to the Monday round tables after you sign up, by the way. Can I add one more quick little nugget of information, Dave? Yep. Just know that when you're reaching out to this, to this buyer or program manager or prime, they're probably not going to respond on the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Keep trying. Keep trying. Make sure. And three, three points of contact, email, phone call, and don't forget about LinkedIn. Right, Sally? LinkedIn is Absolutely. a very, very valuable tool in our world. And I yep. just want to add, I just want to add something super quick. So I spent last week with, I mean, all the primes, right, for the Navy and DoD. Several of them told me something just completely blew me away. They said they come to conferences, they do all kinds of things, and very, very often people don't follow up. Like really, most like of the time, them, yeah, they'll meet them at the booth or matchmaking, or they'll reach out once, like you know, Rob and Dave said, and then they never follow up. And it just really surprised me. And I think that that's a really important thing that Dave and the team are, are uh, emphasizing is keep following up, believe in yourself, don't give up, keep pushing the thread, connect, and uh, you're going to get through eventually with all these tools. There's no way you can't. You cannot put this much effort and energy and not have some results. Uh, you, you're right. You just can't. Uh, yeah. Kent asked the question, how do they they have no report the number of bidders? Great question, Kent. Great question. Wouldn't you love to know how that works? Where they get at? Where? Where do we have one that was? There's one that's six, one, one, none, mm. zero. Didn't report it. How is that acceptable? How is it acceptable? I listen. I didn't do it. You didn't do it. Sally didn't do it. Rob didn't do it. We didn't have anything to do with it. But we know that Glenn Sipe with FEMA has a relationship with ideation to the point of what? Base plus options, 7.1, $1.1 uh, $1 .1 million. You want to know, you want to have ideation. You want to be paying attention to ideation. Doesn't matter. I don't care what the contracting officer said. I don't even care what, 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 um, and, I don't care about the next code. And I ideation about, may be interested in something special you're doing to add to ideation. And that's the other thing I learned last week is there's a lot of small prime, small contractors, they already have contracts, but they're looking to companies like yours to be additive to that, add a new technology or new solution. And uh, because they already have the prime and people want, you know, the government's wanting more from them. So yep. always opportunities once you have this fabulous radar tool, this yeah, superpower. It, it's, it's crazy. It is so awesome. I, I cannot tell you. I, so you guys know we've been holding it back in, in beta test for about a year. Um, and it is absolutely 100% ready and killer. <laughs> it's so much fun to watch. It's so much fun to hear people talk about it. In fact, when they're using it, because it, it's, just, it's just awesome. It's game changing. It's a game changer, seriously. It is indeed. Hold on one second. I'm going to try to get Def to it. Definitely an unfair advantage. That's that's exactly right. Let's go to these guys. I cannot. Here we go. So um, I just did this with ideation. You want to talk to ideation? Here's Gopal and Anita. Phone numbers, email addresses. I'm right here. LinkedIn. Anyone yeah. take a look at ideation for the past 12 months? Not a problem. You can see that ideation is, is not alone in all their contracts. They've got how many do they have? 63 contracts in the past 12 months. And oh, by the way, you want to see who's doing work on this one? You have Glenn. We have Glenn Sipe again. We have Jimmy, who was the person that created it. 
again, you can dive down to as much as you want. First thing you want to do, hit this button. Talk to talk to Glenn about about the award that that Glenn was involved in just the other day. This is the thread, and you talk about this a lot, Sally. Pull on the thread. Pull the best thread. All right, Norris. Yes, Norris is Norris is actually on there. So, uh, so uh, make sure you get the chat. You get the chat, Norris. We'll get you to chat. All right, guys, we got to get out of here. I got a briefing I got to do with with uh, one of our partners. So um, I'm going to let everybody go. Uh, Sally, just appreciate super everything. Quick, I know that Dave will get you the chat, but I put my email on there. I just save the chat. And if you email me, I'm happy to send it to you or the wonderful team that Dave has will get it to you as well. Thanks, everybody. Yep. And Thanks, at well, that, was that was a great presentation. Thank you. Hey, Sophia, we appreciate you. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for the uh, 54 people who yeah. are uh, committed to doing business with the government. Not to say the other 160 aren't. <laughs> They, they bailed when we told them it was 24 months. <laughs> <laughs> you, you lost six people at that point. That, that's all we did. We just have us left. It's like the four, the five of us and 53 people. In it to win it, Adam says. Love it. That's it, baby. All right, Carolyn. All right, Sam Radar is where you, samradar.com. Thank you. I'll give it a try. There you go. All right, fantastic. Appreciate that, Fran. Don't just give Thank it a try. Keep, it, for all that keep it so that you keep the 249 because it ain't going to be 249 for long, right, Rob? Yeah, it is not. It's going I'm up. telling you. <laughs> Inertia is right. coming, baby. All right. Yeah, let me, I'm going to let everybody go. Well, if you want to learn about P cards, sign up on GovBrief. See you.